Hi guys, welcome back to another video. I'm just on the training pitch filming some drills for you guys that you can do in a very small space, just a four by four box. That will be up on the channel very, very soon. I know a lot of you are training at home. So these are gonna be really helpful for you guys who don't have much space. But as I said, I know a lot of you are training at home right now. So I wanted to give you guys a full ball mastery workout that you can do. It's about 10 minutes long. It's actually day one of my Maestro 2.0 training program. A lot of you have already bought the full program but I already gave day one of Maestro 1 away for free, so I thought it'd only be fair to give Maestro 2.0 day one away for free as well. So enjoy, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Welcome to day one of Maestro 2.0, the first of seven days of ball mastery training. For day one, we're gonna be starting off things really easy. We're gonna just use one cone, and you don't need a lot of room. You can do this inside your house, in your garden. You just need a small space and one object to use as a marker. So let's have a look at the first move we're gonna be doing on day one, and it's the inside foot U. So we're basically just forming a U shape around the cone using both feet. So we start with the sole of our foot on the ball, drag it back towards us and transfer it to the inside of the same foot. Then we push it across our body and push it forwards with the opposite foot and then perform the exact same movement. Then we're gonna get in a rhythm, go back and forth for 60 seconds continuously. So you've got a few seconds to go and grab your ball and your cone and then we're gonna get right into the first exercise.
once again making a V shape with the ball, but this time when we pull the ball back towards us diagonally using the sole of the foot, we're then using the outside of the same foot to push it in the opposite direction diagonally to create the V shape. And then we're gonna transfer the ball by releasing it after the outside touch and then going in the opposite direction with the opposite foot. So let's get into it. Exercise number five is the alternate foot V cut. So again, we're gonna create that V shape with the ball, but this time as we drag the ball back towards us using the sole of the foot, we're gonna open out and exchange feet. So we're gonna use the inside of the opposite foot to push it back out diagonally in the opposite direction. So sole towards us, inside of the... Exercise number six is the L drag U. So we're creating that U shape that we were using in moves one and two, but this time adding in an L drag. So to perform the L drag, we drag the ball back towards us using the sole of the foot, and then using the inside of the same foot, we push the ball behind the standing leg, collect it on the other side to push out in front using the inside of the opposite foot, and then we perform the exact same movement on both legs.
it on in the program as we get more advanced. But whether you're coming back for day one tomorrow or advancing on to day two, I'll look forward to some more ball mastery training with you then.